Hey guys, Tickmash Wolf, the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix a problem where an app closes automatically after opening it on your iPhone. So you might be looking to open an app and automatically it closes or crashes. So you need to follow these steps to fix that problem. So first thing is make sure that if you have your iPhone, it's connected to either Wi-Fi or cellular data as most apps require cellular data or app uh, for it to be able to connect to the internet. So what I recommend is turning on airplane mode briefly and then turning it off. And that does a quick uh, network refresh of your cellular data and Wi-Fi if you're connected to it. So if there's a connectivity issue causing that app to crash, it'll fix it. Now, the next thing you wanna do is if you have an app open that's crashing, swipe up from the bottom and then swipe it all the way to force close that app and then open it up again and relaunch it. And hopefully once you relaunch it, it will not crash or close automatically. Now, after you have done that, it's still having an issue, it's time to go ahead and see if there's an update for the app itself. So go over to App Store, and then once you go over to the App Store, you'll be in a menu like this. Now you can search up the individual app itself, or you can go to your profile up top, and it should show you under your profile all of the apps that have upcoming updates or that needs to be updated. So Fine, either you can go ahead and update all of the apps, which is fine, or if you want to update a specific one, let's say maybe you're having issues with Snapchat, you just click on that update button and it will update to the latest version. So if the older version is having issues, hopefully it'll be fixed with the new updated app that you have. Now, after you have done that, let's say you updated the app, maybe there is no update. Uh, if there is no update, it's going to say open, but if you have updated the app and it's still having issues, next thing you wanna do is a force restart on your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart, the sequence of button, you first press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear and then you'll let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button just like that. And I'm not going to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown. I will just keep on holding that side button until the screen goes completely black. And then once you see the Apple logo appear, you let go of that button. Again, the sequence is press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another quickly, and then hold that side button until the screen goes black and the Apple logo appears. And that's just shutting down the phone software completely and then reloading the code. So if it's a software related issue between the phone and the app, it will resolve it for you. And this method is completely safe it will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. Now, if you're still having the issue with the app, it's time to go ahead and completely delete the app and reinstall it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick maybe Instagram as an example here. I'm gonna click on Remove App and then Delete App. So it's gonna ask you if I wanna delete it. Now, once you delete an app, it doesn't delete your account on the app. Your account is still there. So go ahead and delete it. And then this time, I'll go back to the App Store and go to search, search for the app that I just deleted. So in my case, Instagram and whatever app is in your case. Then click on the Get option, Install. And once you click on Install, it may ask you for your app ID password or might ask you to double click here to verify your face ID and let it install again. Like I said, this is something you'll need to do if you're still having issues with the app. Just uh, closes on you when you're trying to open it up. Now, give yourself some time while well, it does install, and then we can go to our home screen and should see the app being downloaded. Sometimes if you don't see the app on your home screen, it might be on the very last page under App Library. You can click on the App Library and add it to the home screen by pressing and holding it, and there should be an option to add to your home screen. So once the app is up, you can go ahead and open it up, and hopefully you should be able to now have no issues where it doesn't close it on you after opening it. Now, if it's still closing, the next thing you wanna check on your iPhone is go into setting of your iPhone, go to general and go to iPhone storage, and you wanna verify that you have enough storage on your iPhone. So if your phone is using up all the storage, you're gonna have all sorts of issues. So what I recommend is if your storage is, let's say 128 gig or whatever gig you have, it's all being used up and there's no free storage, whereas you can see here I have 104 left, you need to delete some videos, photos, apps, basically anything that you don't need or can be deleted so you can 
reclaim some of that storage so that apps don't crash or any because some apps when they open up they require certain level of iPhone storage in order to function correctly and if it's not there it's going to go ahead and close on you. Now another thing to consider it's a, one of those odd things is that sometimes some apps require a little bit more power than other that means that you need to make sure your phone is charged at least 20% or more which I recommend so if you're under 20% and you're trying to open up an app go ahead and charge up your phone at, at least 20% or more and go ahead and see if that helps your iPhone. Now another thing you want to do is that if your phone still is having issues where it's still closing on you for the app, go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general, go all the way down here, transfer where it says, go down here where it says again general and then all the way here it says transfer reset iPhone, click on reset and you want to do a reset of all settings. So the settings until that will get reset are things like network related settings, so save Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected devices any dictionary keyboard that you added, any custom home screen layout, any location privacy setting. Now these are only going to reset the settings themselves, will take about a minute or two. Now all of your personal data like photos, videos, apps will be on your phone, This, th those will not get deleted, but it's something that's necessary to do if you're finding that apps are still closing automatically after you're opening them up. Finally, after you have done that and it's still not working, the very last thing you can do is go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general. Go for a software update, see if the phone itself has a software update that could potentially fix it. And if there's update available, it'll come up here. We'll click on update now. Give yourself half an hour to 45 minutes for that update to happen uh, successfully. And of course, make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged with a good strong cellular or Wi-Fi data. And after that, hopefully your apps are working as it should and it doesn't close on you when you're opening it up and I hope this video was helpful if so please press the like and subscribe button for future tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices thanks for watching guys see you guys next time